Hey everybody, welcome to Rem TV and welcome back to my MLB 20, the show New York Mets franchise. This is episode 5, and here we are for the April 23rd game. Uh, for the Mets, we have Rick Porcello on the mound, who's 1 and 2 to 2.08 ERA. We are, we are, we are, we are in the 14 and 10 Miami Marlins, they are leading the NL East. Uh, on the mound for them, they have Jose Urania, who has no wins, no losses, but with a 4.22 ERA. Uh, right now, we are tied uh, the series at 1 to 1. So we look to break the rubber match. One and two to Jonathan VR. Got him swinging with a changeup. That opens up the game for Barcelo with a strikeout. Two and two to Matt Joyce. Chases a two seam. And the inning, that's two strikeouts for Barcelo. Here in the first. That is another strikeout for Barcelo getting. Him with another changeup. They rank in the upper echelon of several pitching categories, and that doesn't go unnoticed around the clubhouse. One of the position players told me. Time to something about pitchers that always get base hits off, man. That is a shot by Alonzo. That is upper deck shot, and that is Pete Alonzo with a two-run home run, digging it out, low pitch. But Pete's got that power, man. As his fifth home run of the year, as City Field wakes up a little bit. Take a good read, but he's giving a stank face before the throw, too. But bam! Alonzo showing his power. Hopefully, this is something that's going to wake him up a little bit throughout the season. Little play ball. At second. Out of first. That's Rosario to Cano to Alonzo. Damn it, that hung in there. It's going to be a double at least. Maybe even an RBI. Yep. Scoring from first. It's now 2 to 1. That's an RBI double. For Sanchez. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. That is a shot by McNeil. That is gonna hit it to deep center field into the bullpen. And that makes things three to one here in the fifth inning. That's McNeil's fifth home run of the year. No doubt about it. Into the was that the Marlins bullpen? All right, I'm going to have to put in somebody from the bullpen. That's the RBI single for Sanchez. It's the second of the game. Oh, boy. That's another base hit. It's going to tie things up. Come on, bro. Familia, you came in, threw one pitch, and you gave up a run. Oh, my God. The bullpen again. That's a good shot by Cano. It's going to go to deep right field. It's going to be probably a double. Yep, a ground rule double for Robinson Cano. There you go. There's a little blooper. It's going to drive him in. It's going to be 5-4 to four now. Here in the sixth inning, thank you, Wilson Ramos. That is a shot by Nimmo. It's going to be out of here. That ties things up here in the seventh inning. Five to five. Nimmo with the solo shot. That is number three of the season. Get it, bro. Let's go. I got him frozen. That's out number two here in the eighth. Dellen with a big strikeout. That's a good shot by Yohannes. This is going to be a double at least. Can hit the wall. Yohannes is running second and he is safe at second. Basically running second and running first onto second. 
Could be enough for a sacrifice. He's obsessed with us, and he's gonna score, and the Mets are gonna be up six to five. That is a sacrifice fly. By Rosario, that's all he needed to do. There you go. And the Mets are up against six five. One and two, dude. Jonathan VR. Got him with a high changeup. They got away from him, but I'll take it. Settling in now, Harold Ramirez. Past matchups against Seth Lugo. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. Got him. That's another strikeout. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Lugo. Here in the ninth. One to Matt Joyce. Got him swing, Mets win, Mets win, Lugo with a save. And they win 6-5, to five. coming back in the 8th inning. Three home runs by the Mets, was able to put away the Marlins. Oh boy, that, that tying home run by Nimmo gave me a little confidence that we were going to come out with a W. We did give up 15 hits, though. That is the issue. We've been giving up a lot of hits. But Brandon Nemo, the player of the game, 2 for 4 with a solo home run. Uh, finally, Alonzo with a base hit. I feel like I've barely get base hits with him. He did strike out twice, though. But he went 1 for 4. Wilson Ramos, 3 for 4 with an RBI and a double. So I am satisfied with the win. But at the same time, my bullpen still needs to wake up. I feel bad because I pitched such a great game with Porcello for the most part and I just gave it up so easily with the uh, with the bullpen so we're gonna be simming the next game we're gonna have the Grom on the mound so we're gonna sim all the way up to right here oh great Scott Barlow with a fractured hand out to three months that's cool oh boy so we're gonna keep simming through here. Lost that. And then we won the series against the Braves. Boost arm. Active. And we lost to the Marlins. We have a critical situation with Seth Lugo on the mound. How many outs? What's going on here? One run lead to tackle up. One out. Let's enter it. Fuck, ah, man. Oh no, it's gonna drive him in. It's gonna be a tie game. Oh man. That was my bad. How Ramirez going the opposite way. That's a shot. That's gonna. Rosario's way too fast for this. He's gonna make it and he's gonna be safe. That's gonna be a sacrifice. For uh, Jeff McNeil, I said almost said Patrick McNeil. It was Patrick McNeil. I'm having a brain fart here, but that was Jeff McNeil with a sacrifice, a line drive. But was just way too fast, and the transition for a throw was god awful. Double play ball. Out at second. Out at first. That is the ball game. Mets win. Mets win. They win four to three in Miami and ten. Alright, that's what I need for this team. Brandon Nimmo will play the game again. 2 for 6 with 2 home runs, 2 RBIs. Jeff McNeil, 2 for 4. And a double. There you go. Ben says with a save. Seth Lugo with the win. Man. It's unfortunate Seth Lugo gave up that, that save opportunity, but we did get the W. That's what I care about. Oh boy. So we end up winning the second game of this three-game series. And we hope to have another rubber match against Miami next game. So don't forget to click that like button if you like what you saw. Leave any comments below. Uh, if you guys have anything to say to me, whatever, any thoughts, let me know in the comments, as I said. Uh, and if you haven't already subscribed, click that like button. And hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy and peace.